Okay, love bugs. We are gonna do today's date. So get your calendars out. Remember your calendars look like this and that little sleeve I gave you. Make sure you have your dry erase marker. Okay, and we're gonna start with the month. Love bugs at home. Which love bug knows the month? Raise your hand. Okay, now shout it out really, really loud. Excellent, it's March, so we're gonna trace our capital M. We're gonna make our lowercase a, r, c, h. Why do we make that March a capital M? Why does the M get a capital? If there's somebody in the room with you, can you tell them? Let them in on the secret. Okay, did you tell them that March is a special name? If you did, give yourselves a tap on the back, pat on the back. Good job. Now, love bugs, yesterday, yesterday was March 15th. So what number would come after 15? 16, you're right, so we're gonna write that. We're gonna make our straight line down, then we're done. That's how we make our number one. And then we're gonna come slide around with the loop for our six and we make our comma. What year are we in? Very good. I know some of you said 2020 and some of my love bug friends said 2020. Either one of those is right. Can you write that in for me? 2020. Great job. Now this part, you can tell your families that you know the secret code that only adults know. We're gonna do the digital date. So this first box is for what month of the year it is. Now it's March. What number month is March? Right, it's the third month of the year. So we're gonna make our three. We're gonna go around the tree, around the tree. And then we make our dash. This box is for how many days of March it's been. How many days of March have we had? 16, very good, we're gonna write that down. And then we make our dash. And this last box is for the year. How do we write the year in that secret code? Awesome, we make a 20, two, zero. Bum, 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 days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday, then there's Monday. There's Tuesday, then there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, then there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, love bugs, what day is today? It's the first day of our school week. We always start our school week on a Monday. So we're gonna make a capital M because Monday is a special word. Then we're gonna make our O, N, D, A, Y. Excellent job. When you're done, let's look at that word Monday. How many of Monday's letters start at the skyline? Two, right? We touch the skyline twice. We have an M and we have a D that touch the skyline. How many of the letters start at the plane line? Four, right? We have a, an O, an N, an A, and a Y. Which of the letters touches the worm line? Good job. The Y goes all the way down underneath the grass line and touches that worm line. Really, really good job, love bugs. And now we're gonna frame the date with our tens frames, okay? We're framing the date. We've had 16 days of March, so we're going to make the number 16 in our tens frame. So when I make the number 16, am I gonna fill this whole tens frame on top? Yeah, we are. We're gonna fill that tens frame. And then how many circles do we have to make in the second tens frame? Six, right? Six are left over. So take your marker. We're gonna make those circles. We're gonna count out 16. 10 in our top tens frame six circles in our bottom tens frame to show 16. I'll give you a little time to do that. Good job, love bugs. Now, the next part is for you, my smart cookies. When we left school on Friday, 
It was day 120. You were 120 days smarter. So today, we're adding one day to that. Do you know a number comes after 120? It's 121. So to make that number, we're writing a one for the hundreds place, a two for the tens place, and a one in the ones place. You guys know what we do next, right? We flip our marker and we use our cap. We take the number and break it, break it, break it, break it down. Take the number and break it, break it, break it, break it down. Take our number and break it, break it, break it, break it down. I hope you guys are shaking your fists at home. Okay, now you're gonna take your marker. First, we're gonna whisper like it's a secret, okay? We're gonna whisper the parts of the number, the place value. Here we go. Hundreds, tens, ones. Now squeaky voice. Hundreds, tens, ones. Now shout it. Hundreds, tens, ones. Good job. Lovebugs, which number is in the hundreds place? Yeah, it's a one. So in the hundreds column, we're gonna put a one. We have one group of hundreds. Let's look at our tens place. The tens place is in the middle. What number is that? Two. We have two groups of 10 in the number 121. So how many tally marks are we gonna make? Two, ready? One and up, two and up. And then we're gonna stop, right? Because we only have two there. How many do we have in our ones place? What digit is in the ones place? One, very good. So we're gonna make one tally mark in our ones place. One and stop, okay? Even though we have some nice weather, sometimes you might be going outside with light jackets on, riding your bike. Even though it's nice weather, is it springtime yet? No, so what are we gonna circle? Winter, good. Now you could circle it like this like I do. I know a lot of you like to color your snowflake. You could do that if you want to. And once you're all caught up and you did everything that I did, what do we always do? That's right, we take our eraser and we're gonna clean our board super duper clean so that it's ready for tomorrow when we do calendar again. Okay, great job love bugs. We're gonna do a firework clap, here we go. And I'll see you tomorrow for calendar.